Hello, I'm JP Leach, president of NextGen EOC, and I'm going to be showing you a demo of our software today, Perl. Perl allows the Emergency Operations Command, or EOC, to intelligently communicate with a massive number of citizens during large-scale emergency events by allowing citizens in the affected area to register with the EOC so that they may receive critical information throughout the entire duration of the event. Users do this by interacting with a centralized application that will intelligently question them, classify their record, and if necessary, automatically transmit that record for further action. Today's example I'm going to be showing you in downtown Houston, Texas. And in this example, I've received instructions through the normal media to text the keyword enroll to Perl, which I'm going to do on my phone here to the left. Perl will begin asking me a series of questions that I'm going to prompt, uh, that I'm going to respond to, to be classified. I'm going to select English, although the, the application does support multiple languages. In today's event, I'm going to do a hurricane evacuation, and I'm going to use an address that's located in the center of the city. That address is 1407 Jefferson Street. This is in Houston. And the zip code here is 77002. Pardon me. Okay, I'm now going to be asked a series of questions. These examples here, actually, I need to put in a name. I'm going to be asked a series of questions that I've created in the database to show how the application can work. And these are just sample questions. Real event would be different, but I'm going to show you what this does. Because I've said I've not evacuated the area, the system is going to ask me, basically, why haven't you left the area? And I'm going to say, do I plan to event? Yes, I plan to event. However, I don't have a car. No, I don't have transportation. Are you able to leave? No, I'm stuck here. If transportation were provided, would you evacuate? Most definitely. Does any member of your family have special needs preventing them evacuating? I'll say yes. Maybe I have an elderly parent who's uh, in a wheelchair. Uh, has your home experienced any damage? I'll say no. And finally, um, any significant injury? And I'll say no. Now that should conclude the questionnaire, which it does. And I'm going to go ahead and hit the refresh button. And I should see another dot appear on my map down here in the bottom in the area where it says St. Joseph Parkway during the refresh. Now in that minute to a minute and a half time, several questions back and forth. Again, in real event, maybe a few more, maybe a few less. But I was immediately classified right there at 1407 Jefferson, Houston. Now that the individual is registered, they can begin receiving and sending information to the EOC. So how would this work post-event, once the situation has occurred? Let me show you that. On another screen, I've preloaded and a scenario, and this is actually an earthquake event in the San Francisco Bay Area, actually in Oakland. What I'm going to do is show you how I can filter on and target specific individuals. This case has a number of individuals who fall into the high, medium, and low priority. So the first thing I'm going to do is I want to filter out my high priorities. I have three on the map, but I know that I also have a few others that are off map. And I'm going to send these individuals a specific message. And I'm going to say, we see that you need immediate help. Please remain in place while we send assistance. And end. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and send that out, and you'll see on my phone here that I'm going to get a few text messages, and these represent one for each of the records that I created earlier. They were all done by my phone, so I received one for each. I'm now going to switch this over to my low-priority cases, but I'm also going to add a secondary one filter. In this case, I want to select 94602. 
Actually, I'm sorry, 94601. When I do this, I now have a new subset of people, and these individuals are off island, or they're on the mainland. I'm going to send them a message that says, the shelter is full. Please wait for more information. And I should have three messages that go out to these individuals. Okay, and those now go out. And lastly, I'm going to change my filter to 501 and update that. This is um, Amelda Island. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to send these individuals that tell them the bridge is out. Please don't drive. Okay, I'm going to send them one that says all bridges to Alameda, sorry, island are damaged. Please, um, so, oh my goodness, island are damaged. Please do not drive. Okay, I'm going to send this, and I should get, uh, again, another subset of messages. This is how the application works. When Perl is fully ramped up, it will be able to allow the EOC to use any number of filter criteria, uh, questionnaires, any type of other demographics to target specific individuals. I'm gonna remove my filters. And again, I'm gonna hit, hit oops, I wanna take all these off, update. This is our, our prototype, uh, the real product, uh, the finished product will have many, many more features and provide a lot more functionality. We look forward to showing this and, and helping citizens uh, during time of an emergency. Thank you very much for your time and thank you for your support.